Hi, this is Dark Fox on Two Seven, and welcome to another Scrum Creation Kit tutorial video. Today is the fifth video in my scripting tutorial series, and we are going to be covering states. And the way we're going to be doing that is via a script, which will be enabling and disabling lights, and pretty much being a light switch. So we're going to be using this button here in the middle of this room I've sort of created. We've got these two standard lights as light sources from the window, but we're not going to be turning those on and off. We're going to be turning on and off the two over here on the wall, which are just normal candle sources. So if you haven't gone and watched the other four videos or any of the other videos prior to this one, then uh, please go and do so because I'm not going to sort of recover things like creating scripts. So we're going to be working this off an activator and we're going to use a new event as well which I'll quickly explain what that does. So we're going to have this activator like I said which is going to be turning our lights on and off and we're going to be using states. So if we go edit source because I've already placed my script on, I've already typed it out so I'm just going to go through it. Object reference that will be the X marker we're going to use which all the lights are going to be linked to. However, you could link this to one of the lights and all the other lights be linked to it if you don't want too many X markers lying around or don't want to use them at all. Uh, but I'm just going to use an X marker. It's cleaner, tidier, easy to understand. And then we've got event on INIT, so init if you like. And this is an event which runs when the script is initialized. So when you load up the cell, for instance, and this item's got this script on it, when the script is set up, ready to go, to be used, it knows, in this case, it will check to see what the state of the lighting is and put you into the correct state. So the state, you can only have one state run at any given time. So it's just the state that the, the script is currently in, so what it's going to currently run. Uh, when you use the script. So if the lights are off then it's going to go ahead and have the lights disabled and then turn the lights on by going to this state here or the other way around. So if the lighting is on when it's checked, when it's sort of initialized the script, if the lighting is on it's going to go and turn the lighting off and it's going to be sat in the off state. So it'll be on or off. So the script will do something different depending on the state it's in. And this can be used in a number of other sort of scenarios, not just the light switch. It could be a lot more confusing. You could have a number of states in there. So you could have five different states it could be in. And depending on what you do, different actions could set this script into a different state. So you could control what a button does depending on the state that you put it in. So we're just going to do a nice simple light switch. And we're going to use these states. And they're really quite easy. Uh, you simply put state and then what you want to call it sort of similar to what you would do with a function and then you always have to end the state like you do with an event or a function you always have to end it so it's just end state so in the state here is where you will put your usual sort of set of events or your set of functions and you always want something to happen when the state starts so on begin state so when it sort of loads up and it goes okay the state that the sorry Mike's being a bit of a pain here uh, so when it loads up the script, it's basically going to go, if the lights are off, then make sure you're in the off state. And the off state is going to automatically go ahead and do whatever you type in here, like you would with any other event. So it's going to go ahead and fire off on begin state. So it's loaded up, gone to off, and then because it started on beginning the state, it turns all the lights off. So if you came in and the a certain marker is enabled, like the light marker we have is enabled, it's going to make sure that all those lights are off. So, on activate, uh, this is what happens when we've activated the switch, when it knows what state it's in and everything's been set up. So when we activate it, it'll go down to the light on or vice versa. So it'll go down to lights on state and when the state starts, it'll go, right, I've got to do this. So it'll turn the lights on. So, hopefully that makes sense. It can be a little confusing. Uh, like I said, states are used in a number of different ways, and you don't even have to use them. So what I'm doing, what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to show you how to do it this way, and then I'm going to show you another way afterwards of how to do it without states, which will be nice, uh, which will be involving sort of checking an integer or a bool. So now we've uh, sort of explained that. That's pretty simple set that up and all we want to do is we want to obviously set up the property edit it pick a reference and that's going to be our marker so as you can see it's obviously going to enable and disable this marker and we're going to want all of our lights linked to this marker so if we double click on a light and we want to go along enable parent 
so it's going to copy whatever its parent is unless you tick this box which you set as opposite to the enable parent so if we tick that then it'll be opposite to whatever the marker is so if the marker's off it's going to be on and if the marker's on it's going to be off but in this scenario we want it to copy the markers sort of state I suppose uh, let's go enable parent on that light and it's going to copy whether that marker is enabled or disabled so by default we're going to have the lights on so we're not going to initially disable them we'll leave them on and then what will happen then is we'll load up into this cell the script will initialize and just one more time to go through it when this oh dear me wrong one when the script initializes it's going to check what the state of the marker is and it should have the state for that switch set to on so nice and simple so what we're going to do we're going to go in game and we're going to see that working so we should be able to flick our switch and literally turn the lights on and off and then i'll come back in the creation kit and we'll see another way of doing this okay so here we are in our test cell and as you can see it's automatically got the light set to the on position if we'd set it to off then what it would have done is as soon as it loaded up and the script initialized it would have turned the marker off turning the lights off and setting it into the lights off state so if we flick the button as you can see we can turn it on and off which is great so you could uh, sort of set it up so that the candles actually go into the sort of off position on the candles themselves what you could do there is you could simply grab the version of that mesh where the candle is literally off and you could switch the candles in and out with object references so just like disable one and enable the other one and you could link those to markers and disable all the sort of on lights and then flick all the off ones on and uh, then you could do it that way and you can even sort of link this together with menus so you could activate a switch and have a selection of lights that you want to turn on and off and have references for each of those so you could do a number of different things but all we're going to do now is we're going to go in the kit and we are going to use this without states and use sort of a ball or something uh, see what we want to do when we sort of take a look at it so we won't need to use states uh, states are much more useful in other things it's sort of just a, a nice tidier way of sort of setting together your events and functions and things but uh, yeah we're going to go back in the kit now and we're going to set this up a different way without states okay so here we are back in the kit and i've removed everything and just had a normal event on activate in fact i'll just shift that across a bit make it tidier so on activate as we're sort of used to by now and i'm going to do this a different way i'm just going to get it to check the lights and then turn them on or off depending on their current state so it'll be the marker state in this case so i'm going to go if uh, let's have a look main light dot is enabled and you want to put all that in brackets so if main light dot get is enabled there we go that's better uh, just thinking there there we go main light dot disable oh, made a mess I can never type out disable without making an error else so otherwise basically you want to do the opposite Now that might seem a little easier but uh, it all depends on what you're doing and the amount of things that you're doing so uh, that sort of state script we could have had a function where we do a whole list of other things before the lights turn off like maybe have a message so show and things like that and then go through and turn the state on and off turn the lights on and off uh, but this is a nice simple option you could also do this with sort of a a ball property and that then set the ball property to one or zero and get it to check that so a uh, number of different ways of doing it but I just thought that I'd sort of quickly cover what states are and a uh, way that they can be used in this tutorial as well as sort of recover the light switch because I did this in a, another sort of lengthy confusing way the last time I did it so this is nice and clean so this is quite simple if and then in brackets what's going to happen main light dot is enabled then you want to disable it otherwise it'll be if it's disabled enable it and we'll just control and S that nice and simple script and you could have other things like I said uh, you could set up object properties or you could have messages pop up so we could use our debug notifications or message boxes we could have this in a whole menu system uh, choose which lights we want to turn off uh, what we could do is we could go ahead and make copies of these and we could just simply replace them with off versions of the candle 
and then we could link those to an X marker which is off and we could have these two different markers which we turn on and off so we could do that if we wanted uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that I'll let you sort of figure that out yourself but that is it that's nice and simple what I will do is I will leave this up on my website in the link below as a resource you can go ahead and download and that is it so I hope you found the tutorial helpful it's probably not really worth going back in game now and just checking that works because it's nice and simple I know that will work so that's it, yeah, if you found the tutorial helpful, let me know in the comments below. I will be going ahead and covering some more interesting things from now on. This is just sort of getting past a lot of the basics and recovering a few things that I haven't really covered in much detail before. So yeah, that's it. Hit the like button if you like the video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to see more of my videos and keep up to date with everything I'm doing. Please go and check out my main website and my antisocial websites, all the usual. So thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.